Hey guys, this is Name Asdom, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade. Uh, we're gonna have a look at uh, crude oil, uh, and let's start with a bigger time frame, and then see where are things in terms of a longer time frame. So the price is coming into this major, major resistance level uh, on a daily time frame, and that is where we have drawn our lines. Uh, we'll talk about this uh, more in detail when we go into a smaller time frame, uh, but just for a general rule, you wanted to get your support and resistance level from a major time frame, and then you wanted to go into a smaller time frame just to tweak them and then uh, get the exact spot or maybe make them slightly a bit more narrow because obviously the bigger the time frame the bigger the zone would be uh, the recently we were looking at the resistance around these levels but obviously the price has overtaken that one very easily without any hesitation uh, just looking on the daily time frame we could e see that there is a piercing going on uh, with the Bollinger Band in the price uh, which is a good sign because we want this price to go straight into the fast action into this zone because that would increase the probability at the same time for the price to come back down uh, the faster it goes in the zone the better it is but if it starts stalling before the zone uh, that is not really a good sign because then usually the price would uh, kind of uh, has ability to break that level uh, that's what really happened uh, right here but having said that uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that once we once I drill down into smaller time frame um, but and then just looking on the RSI it is trading in line with the price action uh, however it is approaching to as a 70 level which is an overbought level uh, and which could uh, potentially reverse the trend but in terms of a momentum yes the momentum is with the price action and then we do want it to see the price uh, come into this resistance level and then the RSI is confirming that, that there could be still further bit more move and then if there is a further bit more move obviously this momentum is going to go above 70 which would be a lot better for us so let's go into a smaller time frame uh, let's look at the four hour time frame first now if you guys do remember uh, we were looking at this resistance level and uh, in our last analysis we were saying that okay guys be careful about this resistance level because the price has come into this resistance level a few times it was established here price came once twice third and then the fourth time it, it failed to came into this level but <coughs> excuse me just what I was saying to you guys that we do want the price to come straight and fast into this level uh, because that increases the probability is by looking at this one guys you can see that our resistance level was almost starting around this point but the price was it started kind of stalling uh, before that point and then it kind of broke out of this level but over here the price went straight deep into the level and then hence we had a nice retracement from that point um, so now the price is again kind of starting before uh, this uh, resistance level not a really good time uh, but still uh, this is a uh, first time and the price is going to come into this level so this is a very major and a strong resistance level for crude oil on the four hour time frame so do keep that in mind uh, in terms of a retracement uh, the first retracement could be towards the 20 EMAs, uh, right towards this side, uh, but this is a very, very bleak or a very minor uh, support zone. Another support zone could be right towards this side. Uh, the previous resistance could become the next um, support. So let's just draw a line right here, uh, and then we'll mark this line as a dash line. It's not a major uh, resist upper support, but yes, there the price could potentially find a support around this level because this was a major resistance uh, which was touched a few times uh, but broken out at this level. So we do keep in mind uh, this uh, support level right at this point. Okay, guys, I uh, will leave our analysis right here. And if you do have any questions, please feel free to post any comments.